What's going on everybody? C4 here today and welcome to the newest episode of Career Modes here in Madden 18. And this one here is is uh, was suggested to me by one of my buddies that I do it. It was a player that I was always going to do as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail. It is Vince Young. And he was like, you should put, you know what, put Vince, Vince Young on the Dolphins. I went, you know what? You want me to put him on the Dolphins? I'm going to put him on the Dolphins. So what we are doing here is going to be a one-year simulation. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter video. Just because, you know, I'm trying to... Originally, I was going to do just three years. Three years for every single person. Uh, but then sometimes the contracts will be up and they won't get extended. And just, just stuff that's really out of your control if you're just controlling a player. So in some instances, it will work. And in others, it won't. So what I'm going to do is just add in hypotheticals. So right now, the storyline, if you will, is the Miami Dolphins. Ryan Tannehill went down. Vince Young is available he, he supposedly was going up to canada to try to redeem his career in the cfl and jay cutler came out of the commentators booth to strap on a jersey for the dolphins and the dolphins have been absolutely horrendous outside of kind of a shock win over the atlanta falcons they have just been you know below power expectations this year for a team that's looking to get back to the playoffs so what they have done is thought completely outside of the box even more so than bringing in a commentator to try to get him to come in they have reached out to Vince Young, who's been training in Mexico at Lane Johnson's special facility. And people have said he is looking just like the Madden 2008 cover athlete Vince Young. The Vince Young on a pretty poor Tennessee Titans squad, but a Vince Young that I remember was maybe the most clutch quarterback. I think it was 2007 in fourth quarter comebacks. Felt like every game the Titans were in was going down to the fourth quarter. I think he had like five, six wins comes from behind victories in the fourth quarter. So a very clutch quarterback. Most people do remind uh, themselves of Vince Young during his time at the University of Texas, where he's probably the best quarterback they've ever had. Maybe that's too much of an exaggeration. So what we have done is we have this boy, this grown boy. Some may say a man. Vince Young, quarterback from Texas, ready to goddamn lead these Dolphins over, at least within the division, over the Patriots. Um, looking at his rating, like I said, we have... Uh, the exact stats minus a couple things modified as far as the passing stats because, you know, the short, medium, and deep throw, throw on the run, play action. Those attributes weren't in Madden, uh, Madden 2008. They just had a base throw accuracy. So we tried our best. He was an 87 overall. So right now, I actually think he's an 86. He's an 89 with the scheme, but his base was 86. I felt like, you know, you know what? Maybe the fact that he's aged 10 years, he might lose one, one point overall. Uh, but you get the 90 speed. You got the 92 throw power. We got the deep varying things here for the throw accuracy, but most importantly, you have the 99 throw on the run. You have the 94 ball carrier vision, the elusiveness, uh, that stuff there we can't really touch. But uh, I'm, I'm feeling good, man. It's interesting. I've never been a big Vince Young fan. I, I, obviously, you know, it's more so I gravitate to teams that my friends like that I, I root against. So that's why I like USC hatred among other reasons. <coughs> Nelson Aguilar's first couple years. Even though maybe Nelson Aguilar, the way he's turning around in real life this year, maybe I'd need to start giving USC a little bit more credit. Uh, and like Texas, like friend, my the teams that my friends are fans of, I hate. It just so happens one of my friends is a fan of the Longhorns. So I've never really liked them that much. But Vince Young, always a fun QB to use. And kind of been swept under the rug. At least in the realms of like ultimate team that have kept, you know, past really good mobile QBs. Uh, alive, you know, Randall Cunningham, Donovan McNabb, Michael Vick, and they always clamor over the Russell Wilsons and the Cam Newtons. They never really showed much love to our boy Vince Young. So we're going to see if we can give him his due here on this one year. It's a one year deal. What can he do with the Miami Dolphins? Can he make them get into the Super Bowl? Can we control him through that Super Bowl run and perhaps win a Super Bowl title? Let's find out. All right, so here we are at season's end. Look at that first round bye for your Miami Dolphins. Vince Young sitting at 89. We'll check that out. 13 and 3. So the number, uh, well, you know, maybe not the number one seed, but hey, beating the Patriots. Anytime you can beat the Patriots, that is a good time. Uh, looking at the stats on the year for Vince Young: 3,900 passing yards, 32 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, got sacked 20 times. Also throw up 300 rushing yards, two rushing touchdowns. Jesus, Damian Williams just vulturing snaps and touches away from Ajayi. Uh, receiving, no one broke a thousand, but Juice nine twenty nine and eight. We got Stills almost nine hundred and eight. Uh, as far as defense, I mean, now we're just kind of let's just see who got, who's the big dog in terms of sacks. Nine half sacks for Cam Wake. I think that's a Byron Maxwell with four picks on the year. Looking at the yearly awards, MVP went to Tom Brady, even though he was taking a backseat at least in the regular season standings to our boy Vince Young. And Vince Young 
Coming in at number eight on the MVP. Sure, hey, my boy Wentz. Number eight's not bad. I'll take number eight. I say we didn't really spend any of our XP, but now that we're getting ready for a playoff push, let's spend some of this set XP. It's going to be hard because his age is the same. He's 34, but we can juke up that awareness. Uh, I think the awareness would probably better help our overall anyways. There we go. A nice 90, which is, you know, even when we're doing the full three-year rebuilds, a nice 90 overall is a very good starting point. Uh, so let's just quickly, Sam, and set up our divisional round. Of oh, there we go. Wouldn't want it any other way. I mean, now we might lose because the Patriots are usually incredibly overpowered. But in our first playoff game at the New Miami State, that's not what it's called, is it? It's not called New Miami Stadium. Regardless, we're taking on the Patriots. MVP Tom Brady's coming to town. Vince Young wants to show that he is truly the better QB. Let's jump into the game. Oh, this is just too weak, man. This Patriot, what the? Why do these Patriots suck? Like, these Patriots are so... Like, they must... Look, we have four, 400 yards passing. Yeah, they're horrendous. Like, did, oh, I don't know what... The, I'm using the updated roster, so the ratings are probably... Well, updated rosters with Vince Young, obviously. And the ratings guy. Just melting the Patriots. All right, first we go on the four. We got to keep it once more. That was... Oh, that was not a good idea. We stumbled out the gates. Texas team, well, not teammates, but Texas alumnus bring this down. All right, let's go. Let's go like we're, we're actually going to run the ball here for once and see if they'll play in the play action. We have Leontay Carew, Kenny Stills going across the field. Mo oh, right in there to Leontay Carew who gets the go-ahead touchdown in this absolute shootout brewing down in Miami. Oh, there we go. JGI punches it in to give us the go-ahead with a minute 10 remaining. Can our defense bail us out? We already got, what, almost like 500-plus yards total with Vince Young. All right, picking this up. Second and four. We've controlled the clock. We got the ball. We won the coin toss. You can't settle for a field goal against Tom Brady. You're going to have to get the full touchdown. So we'll throw right there to Julius Thomas. Turns upfield. It's on the two. Wow, we're just going to be short. Of getting 500 total passing yards with Vince Young. If we do decide to throw it up here. You know what? We've been throwing it so good. Let's see if we get in the bite on the run. We'll see if Jay Jai. You got the last touchdown for us. The go initial go ahead anyways. If he can finish off this drive. Give it to Jai. And he gets absolutely pummeled. Dev McCordy coming off the edge. Okay. Okay. Over a thousand total yards in this game. That's, that's very realistic. 
We have chew the clock. I don't know what happens. This game won't end as a tie, right? I don't know. Get in the end zone. Get turn around and get in the end zone. It's not that hard. All right, we'll get make sure two clocks off. Go slants. Third and goal. Worst case scenario, we could bootleg with Vince Young and try to scramble it in here. Oh, there we go. Game over. AFC Championship, baby. Here we come. Vince Young, an absolute monster in his debut. Performance of actual gameplay. 498 passing yards, three touchdowns, going up against the GOAT Tom Brady in an all-time classic. I mean, as much of a, a classic game, a sim mode performance in a Madden 18 could be. But hey, we'll take it. We're moving on. AFC Championship, here we come, baby. All right, here we are. Pick it up. Second and goal in the championship game. The battle for Florida against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Opening drive. You know we want to get this in. Boom! Kenny Stills. Open and drop touchdown. You better believe, man. Fitz Young. Absolute gunslinger. Oh, come on, Juice. Oh, he's so... Okay. Call timeout. Ten seconds left on the one. We gotta, we gotta show a big old set of nuts here. Has to be out of our hands. Can't take a sack. All right. This is why, this is why you got that 93 acceleration, Vince. You gotta be able to get out. Oh, come on. There we go. Again. No, it's just too hard. It, we've been sacked, I think, five or six times, so they have been able to get pressure behind the line of scrimmage. But once we get outside of the pocket, you know, he's a monster. 6'5", 2", he's Cam Newton. He's Cam Newton before there was Cam Newton. Oh, when did Jay Jai turn into like, I don't even, I can't even name any famous wide receivers. Uh, uh, Booker, Marty Booker. When did, when did Jay Jai turn to Marty Booker? I can't think of the wide receivers that they had when Marino was there. So Marty Booker's the first thing that came to mind. What about Chad Johnson for one year or Brandon Marshall for a year? Looking like, that's what Jay Jai is looking like. All right, fourth and three just to make, come on. This is makeable. Come on, Parky. Channing your Eagles. He makes it! Oh, four, okay, four seconds left. There's no way we're not trying this at least once. Our offensive line can hold up. Four verts. Pink slips, I'm smelling a little pink slips, smelling a little John Ross, a little Robbie Anderson. Uh, I mean, Juice has been getting his man all day long. Or we'll just eat another sack. My God, all right, we're going OT again! All right, so they missed their attempt, they won the toss. So that means we're in field goal range. That red line, I assume that means that's Parky's range. So we're just trying to make it manageable. We don't want to throw any interceptions. We don't want to drop back because of, of the sack parade. I think I got almost a dozen sacks. So we're going to keep it simple, silly. Maybe we'll go with the slants to see if we can get a nice chunk of yards. But if not, I mean, we are we could get sacked and still be in his range. But let's just try to use our head here a little bit. Get to the outside. Oh, 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 real close to Kenny Stills. Just missed it. Now it's time to hold hands. Pray to whatever God you have that we can nail this and go to the Super Bowl. Come on, Parky. Yeah, there we go. Cody Parky, Philadelphia Eagle legend, nails the field goal. 30-27, to 27, your Miami Dolphins are going to the Super Bowl as the AFC representation. Bitch on 282 yards, two TDs. He also had 100 yards rushing. Jarvis Landry, five catches, 122 yards. Very impressive performance. Now it's time to see who we're playing the Super Bowl. Be it, I saw the Eagles. Eagles and or someone. Maybe you're paying attention to the ticker. You know who we're playing. But now, let's go. All right, picking it up right now. It, it's an impossible. I don't know how you throw against the Seahawks defense. I think it might have been. I can't remember. What, it was the Darnold one. How do you throw it? Like, every single time, everyone's covered. Second and 22. We're down 7-0. Like, A, we throw it? No, we throw it to Bobby Wagner instead. Like, this is, they're overpowered. The Seahawks are like, the Seahawks, I can almost say right now from what little I know in Madden, that they're the Chargers this year. Like, it's un it's unbelievable. All right, we're here again. First and 10 on the thing. We're moving a little bit, but it's not, uh, not great. So we get sacked again. It's not fun, man. Uh, I tr I'm trying to stay positive. Stay positive, C4. It just, it's just... 
the way I was able to move the ball in the first two games versus now, it's day and night. And it feels like something's been predetermined before we come in. Uh, like, I'll tell you right now, like, a bunch of the linebackers have had brick for, bricks for hands. DBs as well. Throwing plenty of ball. I probably should have had three or four picks coming into this point from the two games that you've seen. They've all been dropped. But, of course, when we played the Seahawks in the Super Bowl, they are jumping every road. The AI got switched like something happened. I don't know. I wish someone, I hope someone could do, like, some testing. You know, like that. I don't know. I don't have enough time to do that. All right, first and ten. We need a touchdown here to have any chance. Right out in the middle there. Fasano holds on. I'm surprised. And uh, it seems like the extra point glitch has been fixed. So we should be going down at half. Only down seven. A bit young. Nice scramble there to hit Fasano. The backup tight end to pull us back one here. Oh, come on. Why? Oh, there's an interception. Yeah, of course. Of course he's going to read that, right? You know? No one else would in the other three games, but Earl Thomas is going to jump that. Contest the catch, Kenny Stills. All right, here we go. First and goal on the eight. Still down seven. Even though we have three picks, the Seahawks have four turnovers, so I guess they're equally as raged as that we are. Let's see what we can do here. Who wants this? What is that pocket? Why did you <laughs> touch the controller? And that's what happens within the pocket. Just walks into a Bobby Wagner sack. Beautiful. Eight sacks on the day for Seattle to our one. Why would you automatically move? Well, I didn't even I didn't even touch anything. Now I'm touching it. Now I'm touching it, baby. Don't fumble that. Put it up on the two. We're in four down. I mean, yeah, we're nah, yeah, we're in four down territory. We're not we've never we haven't sniffed this close to the end zone yet. Um outside of our obviously our touchdown here. So let's go. Who wants this? The edge, get the edge, there we go. Scampers in for the game tying touchdown. Now watch this Seahawks team that has four turnovers. Turn it over more than us. Watch it go down the field without burning a single timeout to get a touchdown or something ridiculous like that. But hey, Vince Young ties it up. I'd like to see that. They turn it over again. Look at that at the top. Six turnovers somehow for Seattle. Okay. Well, uh, let's just not throw it. As, as it is very apparent that we throw the ball. The Legion of Boom is like a 99.99 .99 overall. So let's just let's just keep this one on the ground. See if our terribly average offensive line can move the chains with Mr. Jay Jai, who's had no success success whatsoever. It, it's like the AI is really really bad. I don't I don't I don't really need to say that. But they like they they never make the right reads. They never go through the right hole. They always do like. If they could bump to the outside and get a touchdown, for some reason the AI would rather like hit a spin move and turn right back into the middle of the field. I know I'm not the only person that's probably had this happen to them. Uh, so I'm not going to act like, oh, poor me. Woe is me. I'm so woe. Ah, all right, well, we're in field goal range. Do we make this field goal? Yes, we do. 17-14 ball game. Let's go. And we get the ball back. All right, we couldn't kill the clock, but we're in field goal range, right? There we go. Oh, thank... I was just getting ready to lose my shit. If they were going to go down that field and get that... Uh, the the go-ahead touchdown, if you will. Now it's time to bleed this clock and get our Super Bowl. There you go. There's the Super Bowl. This should be... I should have made this a Super Bowl bust. There's the blue and yellow confetti coming down. Or blue and orange for the Dolphins colors. But there you go. Adam Gay sticking outside the box. Calls up Vince Young, who's trying to resurrect his career up in Canada. Found him somewhere down in some, you know, unnamed laboratory in Mexico. Lane Johnson's listed as the owner. No, no, no 100% verification on that, but one could be led to believe. And Vince Young comes in, looking like Vince Young, straight off the cover of Madden 2008, and leads the Miami Dolphins to a Super Bowl. It was not easy. First round, we had to go through MVP and just... Thorn in the side of Miami Dolphin fans everywhere. New England Patriots and Tom Brady. Second round, it was the Battle of Florida. Jacksonville Jaguars, very good defense. Ten, some plus sacks. Five sacks on the day from Calais Campbell. I still think, even with this Super Bowl victory, that Vince Young is going to be seeing Calais Campbell in his dreams at night. And then here we go in the Super Bowl finale against the team that multiple times through different variations of, look, he gets MVP with three picks. No, grow up. In multiple variations of just whatever. X amount of series I've done. The Seahawks have probably been our Achilles heel. Man 17. It was the Chargers this year. Right now I'm going to give Seattle. It's just so hard to throw the ball on the Seahawks. 
Uh, maybe it's just like the POV camera that you get for your guy. I don't exactly know, but we did it. As Vince Young's looking a little darker than usual. <laughs> but there's your Super Bowl. Thank you for watching another episode of the Madden 18 Career Mode. If it's your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment in the comment section below if there's any players you want to see a career mode done of. And that'll do it for me here today, guys. Thank you for watching. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out.